Hi friends, welcome to IT Report. In this session, we are going to see how can we create index on views in SQL Server. In our previous sessions, we can say we checked with views in SQL Server and what are the usage of views in SQL Server. Here, we are going to see, see how can we create indexes on view. To check with this, the clustered index is the only type of SQL Server index that contains data. The clustered index on your view contains all the data that makes up the max of view definition. As soon as you create this clustered index, the view is materialized, meaning SQL Server allocates storage space for it. If there are some limitations to create index views. Once a unique clustered index is created, additional non-clustered indexes can be created against the view. So, we first create the unique clustered index and that view and we can proceed with the number of non-clustered indexes. The second one is, we can update the data in underlying tables including inserts, updates, deletes and even truncates. So we can apply this DML statements but we cannot modify the underlying tables and columns after creation of indexes. The view is created with the schema binding options. General syntax to create the view index statement with schema binding is enabled. So next one is it cannot contain aggregate functions and top classes and outer joins. And a few other keywords or elements. So simply we cannot create index on view which is using outer joins. Only for inner join we can we can create with indexes on views. So, okay, what are the benefits? Queries that process many rows and contain join operators or aggregate functions. In case of if this SQL Server returns a rows with delayed seconds or minutes for a particular table, we can create an index for that table with the columns. It may be a cluster or non cluster. In the combinations of one or more tables, we create a SQL using joins and it was a delayed state result set, it gives a delayed result sets. So this kind of issues we can create a index for the use. And join operations and the aggregate functions are frequently performed by owner several queries. So these are the benefits. So uh, we, let us check with a simple example. How can we create index views? So we are, we are going to use employee and employee salary. We do tables. the data with employee ID by name and employee salary from so this is a so we are going to create a view index view for 
salary with schema 19. So here 19 as this. Here you should mention the name for the table is to perform it. That is with schema. Otherwise, it will show uh, message. See, invalid schema binding names must be in there to perform it. So, general syntax create view and view name with schema binding. This is a reserved word for create index review. So, just create a In that case, if we consider the outer join as left join, it will create it. And in the index review, first we create a unique clustered index. You must index on apply salary view on. That you name column of employee ID. So it writes the error message because it uses a left right or full outer join and no outer joins are allowed in the index views. Consider using inner join. alter that view and execute so unique trusted index is created so then we can create a non trusted indexes So that new name we are coming here. So just data. So we can fetch the data from that new name simply whatever result says we need. So these are the simple example to create indexed views in SQL Server. So just we so create with with the schema binding and you, we can use with the two part format name and we consider only the inner join then first we must create a unique clustered index on that view then we proceed with the non clustered indexes so these are the simple example to apply index on use Hope this session will be very useful to you. If you like the session, please like and subscribe. Thank you friends.